What's up guys, welcome back, it's Kongboy. And in this video, I'll be explaining what Polygon is and why it could be the future. The network initially released in summer of 2020, while they were still called Matic Network, but then they rebranded to Polygon in early 2021. Their main blockchain that most people know them for is called the Polygon POS chain, which is for proof of stake. And it's a side chain to the Ethereum mainnet, and they can process 7,000 transactions per second as compared to the 15 transactions per second with Ethereum. Though they have faster and cheaper transactions, they are a bit more centralized and benefit from the security of the Ethereum main network. Typical transaction fees are between fractions of a penny up to a few cents, with gas paid in their native Matic token. This is certainly a big reason why there's over 25,000 applications and the majority of games and dApps that are NFT and crypto related built on Polygon. Games that require a lot of microtransactions would make no sense to be done on the main Ethereum chain, since the gas fees would make it not worth it. And the same applied to DeFi, which exploded in the summer of 2021 because Polygon became massively popular and people fled to the chain to do things like yield farming. This is because for the average person like myself, if I wanted to compound interest, which would require me to do multiple transactions either weekly or monthly, then it would become way too costly to operate on the Ethereum mainnet because I would lose money on every transaction, making it very much not worth it. So instead of needing hundreds of thousands of dollars to make the transaction fees worth it when you're compounding interest, anyone with even a few hundred dollars can make it worth their while doing some lending and borrowing on Polygon. So like I said, while it does outperform Ethereum in the areas that the average user cares about, like speed and cost, it does benefit directly from the security of Ethereum and uses it as a settlement layer. This is true for all sidechains and layer twos on Ethereum. And there's been a bit of confusion and debate around whether Polygon is an L2 or a sidechain, but technically the answer is it's a sidechain and not an L2, but people are still gonna mess that up and it really doesn't matter because it's a scaling solution that's built on Ethereum. While many people know Polygon strictly by their proof of stake chain, they're working on a number of different scaling solutions that they'll potentially offer in the future. And they're doing this because there's a lot of different ways to scale a network and they're trying all the different methods in case some fail, they'll have some winners. All the ones that I'm going to mention are still in development, but some are available for testing and are in beta. One of their alternative scaling solutions is called Polygon Hermes. And it's a ZK EVM, which stands for Zero Knowledge Ethereum Virtual Machine. And I'll explain that in a few other videos where I dive into privacy and zero knowledge proofs. But basically this is a layer two rollup on Ethereum where applications and contracts from mainnet Ethereum are perfectly compatible. Nightfall is another one that's in beta and it's a privacy scaling solution that uses ZK rollups, also allows for cheaper transactions and they're focused on institutional support. They also have Edge, which is a developer tool that makes it easy to customize both public and private blockchains. Similar to Edge, they have what are called supernets. And this is a service that helps launch new blockchains and provides them with support in case things go wrong. This helps them benefit from the decentralization and security of the validators that are set up by the Polygon team. They're also working on Polygon ID, which is a privacy preserving, censorship resistant and fully user controlled digital identity. And it also uses zero knowledge proofs in order to prove things about their identity without actually revealing the details. Polygon has promised to make their networks carbon negative by the end of the year and they're already carbon neutral after having bought some carbon credits. And carbon credits are paying to support projects that are reducing the carbon in the environment. And they have made partnerships with some big brands that are gonna do NFTs on Polygon, which include Disney, Starbucks, and Reddit, which released an NFT avatar collection that is compatible with their website and has some other utilities, as well as an NFT marketplace that they're gonna support. Full disclosure, I do hold between five and $10 of Matic in my own personal wallets in order to play things like Cyber Kong's Play and Collect and Avogachi's, which are two things that I do hold assets from. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll catch you later.